Football in Australia can mean any one of four distinctive codes. Australian rules, rugby league, rugby union and soccer. These soccer players in Australia's national strip of gold and green are known as the Socceroos. And in the space of 14 months, they've waltzed their way into the finals of the World Football Championship in West Germany. To qualify as winners of their Asian group, Australia's World Cup team played a total of 11 matches. Their opponents, Iraq, Indonesia, New Zealand, Iran and South Korea. At home, a million or more Australians watched their progress on ABC television. And as the Socceroos hopped from one pinnacle of success to another, enthusiasm began to spread. Australian soccer had come of age. And in the two principal cities of Melbourne and Sydney, the crowds turned out to watch their newly discovered heroes in action. In this recent match against Uruguay at Melbourne's Olympic Park, the fans voiced their approval as Australia's part-time professionals more than held their own against opponents seeded fourth in the world today. Australia's preparations for the World Cup have been hampered by the lack of finance and by the players' commitments to clubs and employers. Team captain Peter Wilson is a car salesman. Defender Cole Curran nearest the window, a truck driver. Stylish right-back Doug Uchisenovich works as a storeman. Dutch-born Peter Van Rin, the team masseur, and from Melbourne, reserve goalkeeper Jim Milisavlevich. Team coach Rally Rasic discussing tactics with German-born iron defender Manfred Schaefer. Strikers Otti Abonni nearest the window, a tailor by trade, and Branko Bulovic. A late comment of the squad, defender Ivo Rudic, and the player injured against Uruguay, who won't be playing in Germany, Ray Bartz. The smallest member of the squad, and a Scot, Jimmy Rooney. Jim Mackay on the right, who scored the winning goal against South Korea, and his midfield companion, Ray Richards. Young striker, Gary Manuel, one of the last to be selected, and Dave Harding, another late inclusion in the squad for Germany. Most of these players were born outside Australia, but migrants today form an integral part of Australia's way of life, as well as Australia's soccer team. There are quite a number of six-footers among them, including goalkeeper Jack Riley and, in the white tracksuit, Adrian Alston. At a suburban club ground in Melbourne, Peter Wilson leads the squad out for a training run. This is the city where Australian rules is the dominant football code. And although the Socceroos are in the big league for the World Cup, their appearance at training here arouses little public interest. Despite this, the players' dedication and loyalty to their Yugoslav-born coach, Rade Rasic, remain strong. Rasic himself is quick to provide his own testimony. This is very personal. I never lived with a better bunch of sportsmen. And I never was associated with better people than I, than I have these 22 two men. And would be really, you know, sad to part with them one day, you know, because uh, uh, discipline is something that we don't speak about. The team's masseur and baggage master, Peter Van Rin, has been with the national squad now since 1970. With our determination and our team spirit, we will do uh, very well in Germany. Peter Van Rin's confidence in the team was borne out a few days later when Australia surprised the world by beating Uruguay at the Sydney cricket ground. A goal down, Uruguay were quick to counter-attack. A corner on the left, and then a cross into the goal mouth that seemed to spell danger. But an intercept by Ray Butts quickly restored the balance. A long ball for Ollerton, and the Uruguayan keeper straying too far upfield is stranded. Ollerton rounds him in a flash, and Uruguay's fate is sealed. Australia 2, Uruguay 0. Australia's coach, Rally Rasic, is the first to heap congratulations on a jubilant Peter Ollerton, quickly followed by other members of this soccer team from down under. The message would seem to be abundantly clear. Tell the world and Germany the Socceroos are coming and we'll go a-waltzing with them every centimetre of the way. <laughs>